ain't going to your seat, baby. I just want a scream. What is going on, entertainers? So, Tom Kimtel with another video. So, in this video, guys, we talking Baddies Caribbean. Before I get started, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, let me know what y'all think about this video. Okay, first thing I wanted to get into is Meatballs from Philly. Okay, I knew this, you guys. I've said it before other videos. It was a mistake. Okay, slip of the tongue. The girl is not from Baltimore. Okay, I was thinking of Krishan when I was talking about her because her and Krishan have always kind of hung out and are cool like that. So, that's why I said Baltimore so quickly. Now, uh, I want to piggyback on something I talked about. It was the whole Jalamina thing. I do see some people uh, that were online and Julie starting this whole, Julie from BGC9 is starting this whole takedown zoo situation. And people are allegedly saying that uh, Jalamina is being held for ransom. Now, I don't think she's being held for ransom, but other things before that I found out have surprised me. So I wouldn't be shocked, but I don't think she is. I would think Zeus would be smart enough to allegedly not do something that crazy. but. I think, though, that Jayla is smarter than a lot of people give her credit for. And I think, you know, they probably, of course, stiff-armed her, her uh, Natalie and Lemmy Pepper, and basically told her to retract all of her statements, right? But Jayla's a smart girl. She's going to hold all of the information in her cup. She's going to hold all of everything that she knows to herself. When she gets that chance, she's going to strike. She's a petty girl. We've seen what she did with Oxygen. They ruined her items. She took down the network. What makes you think she wouldn't do the same to Lemmy Pepper? Her friendship with Nat Nat, to me, is expendable. I think, in my opinion, she sort of uses Nat Nat. I don't think she likes Nat Nat's character. So her taking down the network would be nothing to her. I just think she's playing it a little bit smart right now. So I don't think this is the end of it. I think this is just only the beginning when it comes to Jayla. They kind of F with the wrong girl this season, and you guys will see how it all play out. OK, uh, first thing I want to get into besides that is the replacement. So uh, y'all all know about this twist about the replacements finally get in the house. Child, they finally get in the house to fight to get into the house. Joe, a replacement. That was the one that had the bad wig, the bad red wig. Y'all remember the shake and go wig that said who you, who I'm not going to slap and then pop that girl with the dreads. Her. So Joe, you guys has been getting into it with one of the originals this season, which is Meatball, and another original as well. So she has called out Meatball multiple times. They fought multiple rounds already on the season. And um, now she has decided to leave. In her words, she decided to leave. But I believe she was told, you can go. Like I said, they're trying to fight to get into the main house of each island. The replacement the fuck this, this shit is. I don't know what's happening. But the uh, the little boys club uh, noodles bitch making demands and she's scared and all this shit that I, I, which I know at the end of the day like that don't motherfucking matter. Is this the bad girls club or the scary bitch club? Like I don't understand. So at this point y'all, I'm a real nigga. Y'all know so me. I, I won't. I, uh -uh. I'm getting sick, segregated, singled out for uh, being a motherfucking baddie, basically, and shit like that, motherfuckers lying, just trying to protect other motherfuckers, knowing that ain't happen, but you gotta act like that happened because you wanna protect this little bitch asshole, but I'm still gonna see her around. Well, it's officially a wrap for J.O. on the Caribbean. She probably don't even see me, but, um, no, it's a, being a baddie, these bitches ain't doing none of that shit. I don't know what the fuck this, this shit is. I don't know what's happening. Don't she look like Miss Natural, y'all? She look like Miss Natural. But the uh, the little boys club uh, noodles bitch making demands and she's scared and all this shit that I, I which I know at the end of the day, like that don't motherfucking matter. Is this the bad girls club or the scary bitch club? Like I don't understand. So at this point, y'all, what is she doing anyway? Doing a stomach dance? Bitch, stop fucking playing. Talking shit and ain't backing it up. Got her ass served like. And now this little nigga uh, want to go home and say, oh, no, she can, don't let her go home. Shut, fuck her. Fuck whoever, why I with her? Fuck is y'all talking about? Send bitch home. This the baddies. If bitch is scared, why is they here? This shit ain't being, this shit ain't even being right. I'm not understanding. 
bitches getting favoritism, hoes getting shit like this, la, 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 the fuck out of here. Cause I'm definitely a motherfucker baddie and I'm putting shit down on the flow. I don't give a fuck if it comes to my personality. I'm a great ass person, great individual, got great characteristics, bitch. I, I, I just get to the good part. Fuck out of here. This shit, no. And this hoe wanna go home, so she's such a- She gives me that ass TV. You belong to World Network, Buki Bud. You need to go uh, hit up Isaiah. I know he has a spot for you. Um, she's doing a little bit much, but we have yet to see how they've gotten into it. There has been a lot of back and forth online between the two. Um, from what I hear, Meatball doesn't have a great season. I'm talking like they had to kind of force her to fight. No shade. They had to kind of force her to fight a couple of times. So she doesn't have the smoothest season from what we hear. It kind of struggled a little bit. And that's why she's threatening to go home every two seconds. And she said, I don't give a F, run it until that scary ad little boy. How you going to start some ish and scared to finish it? Then I can't get you F out of here. You said this ish annoying, this three or four scary. It's too much favoritism. I'm blessed. I'm gonna leave respectfully, and I'm gonna see you three or four soon. Noodles and all, catch you be outside. Now I send this in a group chat. P U S S Y. I never been a disrespectful individual, especially someone putting you in position. So to keep implying otherwise an excuse to say these is absurd. It's like a slap in the face. I will not allow it. I know my worth. And baby, listen, I'm the one. Now I know. Let me pepper's gonna be throwing a fit that y'all leaking all of this tea. Uh, after his birthday okay now meatball did reply back um to this whole entire situation and feels as if it's a whole bunch of uh bs so she started posting on her page about some hours and said please do not type me anything messy i can care less have a blessed day see that's the problem everybody want to continue to act bold and live this lifestyle but i can't but can't come here to show my true colors not to show my one two uppercut respectfully if i told y'all what's really going on my whole city would be out here and that's why i'm not even talking respectfully go ahead and continue to listen to people y'all know me i keep it 100 now she says something the joe girl that kind of disturbed me she said they're not even letting her leave oh, this is why people think y'all need for ransom girl like this is really bad like really really bad because she has wanting to leave a bunch of times since being there. I fought three times the same girl, and y'all telling me I'm scared? No. Girl, at this point, I'm trying to find out what's the real beef, or are you holding something in that you want to get out? It's okay to see what's the problem. Pitch your hands down, and that's why I said people be trying to be bold. No, I've had enough. I want to know why am I fighting the same person. Like, at this point, what do you want from me? Ain't nothing that I'm scared of. It just ain't worth it. And she said, I'm holding a lot of stuff in. Be happy because my fans are asking me what's tea and what's going on. Facts. Leave me alone before I really turn into a hawk. I ain't really doing this social media back and forth shit. What I'm going to say is, listen, I ran the movie. You feel what I'm saying? Either it's going to get played or not. But one thing I'm not going to do is keep knuckling on the same person. It's like, damn, like. Just because I said I don't want to fight, that don't mean I'm bitching. I'm just going through real life shit, and I care less about... This is why I criticize Zeus's casting a lot. Meatball was casted on the wrong season. She really should have been casted last season. Because if they thought about it, Meatball is very cool with Krishan. So what Tzatziki didn't do last season, which was fight Krishan's battles, Meatball would have did. So they should have cast her last season. This is why I said I don't think she sh they should she should have been on this season. They're on the islands. She probably feels a little bit insecure because of the fact that, you know, all the girls are in bikinis or whatever. From what I hear this season, they've been poking. Some of the girls have been poking fun at her, looking like a little boy, like Joe has been saying, by wearing T-shirts and looking a little bit out of place from the other baddies. That's why I think Baddies East would have been the perfect for her, fit for her because it didn't require a bikini at all. They were close to home from where she's from, Philly. Could not know that, y'all. Philly! Okay, so it would have made a lot more sense than to have her out here in the Caribbean. That's just what I think. About giving you a round four, a round five, a round six. You feel what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not on it with you. You feel what I'm saying? At this point, I'm, I want to come to a conclusion. Like, damn, like, what's your real beef? Do you know who I really am? Like, this is, this is not what I came on this show for. I came on this shit to get it popping and be lit, and show my true colors. Not to come on here and knuckle everybody. Why am I knuckling just you and not everybody else? Hello, pay attention. That's because I'm cool and I fuck with everybody else, but her. She the only one that don't fuck with me, bro. 
Wait, I'm just I'm just confused. See, everybody don't want me to talk, but now here I am talking, bro. I'm not no bitch. I'm not afraid. I'm on a tight time. Like, listen, I'm not about to keep knuckling no same bitch that's trying to get in the house where I'm at. I'm the type of bitch that's, listen, you want to see? I'm going to get up and I'm going to go find a better seat and I'm going to let you sit your ass down. You feel me? I'm not going to keep knuckling nobody just for no house, just for no seat. You tripping. You want to sit down? I'm going to get up for you and I'm going to go find that better seat. Stop playing with me on this joint, bro. See, the thing is, y'all be trying to act bold and live that lifestyle and make it seem like y'all really on that. But certain some of y'all ain't really not even on that, bro. And it's crazy because I learned. I learned being here. It's okay to say you not on that. Fuck is you talking about? It's okay to say you not in this lifestyle. It's okay to say you not bold. Yeah, all right. It's okay not to listen to what people want you to do. Fuck out of here. That's crazy because it's like when they knowing you for something that you're good at, they try to use you for. And it's like, damn, you know, I'm actually good at some other things, too. You know, can I show my true colors? Can I show can I show the other things that I'm good at? You know what I'm saying? Just 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 pay attention. Pay attention to what I'm saying, bro. I'm good at other things. I could sing. I could dance. I could rap. I could. Uh, what should do? You feel me? But y'all see me <laughs> good at that so bad. Y'all want me to really just, ah, ah. no, I'm trying to chill. Like, I'm trying to chill. No, because now I'm talking and I'm not who or nothing else saying. Like, I've been trying to chill. I've been trying to keep my pose and stuff like that. Like, ah, just, ah, it's just weird, bro. Okay, and then she said, y'all got it. So imagine saying on Instagram, arguing with the girl that made, uh, make sure I'm scoped at the scenery so bad. When a person is tired of fed up, we start using things to make up things on people. Y'all better go ahead. Y'all don't know the real me. Have a blessed day. She going back to sleep. Okay. And this is why I say it should have been another season where she should have been featured on. Now I will say though, um, I think she's going to be a key during this season, though, because just from that little clip, that to, to me was a little funny. Just, she reminds me of just a Philly biggie, okay? Like a Philly biggie. So I, I think she's going to give us a good old key uh, from what we see of her. She's just not going to have the nicest season at all, okay? Now, this whole fighting, the replacements fighting to get on and, and as, you know, into the main house or as a main cast... That to me is a little bit like, this is not like Survivor. This isn't like, you know, what y'all going to have a merge? They, Nelly going to give them, oh, that's what it is. I just cracked the code, y'all. If any of y'all watch Survivor, the baddies chain is what it takes to make the merge. So until you have the baddies chain, you don't make the merge. Okay? In Survivor, you get a little bandana. So until you get that chain, you didn't make the merge. So a lot of these bitches still ain't made the merge. Speaking of more Zeus, y'all, they dropped a sneak peek between Rowley and Animac. Spoiler alert, the hoes did not fight. This was filmed in Miami. So y'all yeah, remember when Rowley was on the plane on the way to Miami? She was like, oh, I'm on the way. And she had the gray streaks in her hair. This was around the time that this happened. They argued it out. And they're still cool from what we know now. But y'all know that could change any day to this point. So they are on good terms or whatever, um, have even went live with Big Biggie. So this is why a lot of you fans, first of all, BG, Baddie's fandom is just as toxic as some of these other fandoms at this point. You guys go crazy in comments. This is why I can't be doing too much and starting, you know, petitions because that, that don't work. Because now they're on good terms and they're cool. I don't think they're going to be best friends, but they're cool at least. So I'm glad, though, because the last thing we needed to see is those two Go back and forth the whole season because it's really exhausting. Speaking of more baddies, Smiley. It looks like Smiley might be making it appear to the DR. <laughs> I'm sorry, but if she does, I'll actually cackle. Because Smiley, you still need to get your lick back for what uh, Big Biggie did to you. Because she popped you into an oblivion, okay? You still need to get your lick back for that. So I would be opposed to Big Smiley making an appearance in DR. <laughs> it actually would be very funny to me because I want to see Biggie's reaction 
Okay? She would be like, bro, y'all brought Smiley down here to fight me, bro. All the way to the Caribbean. No lie though, you know Smiley bought her on ticket though. If she does appear, but Smiley has done some clout chasing things in the past. So she I don't I'm not even gonna confirm her to be there because hey, she might just be doing that to scare the out of Biggie. Okay. Speaking of more appearances, potential appearances in the DR, Camila from Long Beach was asked to be on and make an appearance. It said, hey, my beauties. So they asked me to come to DR, but they didn't want to pay for a cameo fee, fee to be filmed. Find somebody else to do it. Y'all have fun, though. Let me pepper. Please don't start acting like Isaiah. This is not not as TV. You have enough coin. Don't be cheap now. That would have been a little fire, no shade. For Camila to do an appearance fee, you know uh, Rolly would have hopped on her back, okay? <laughs> Quick in a hurry. <laughs> Camila legs would have been shaking, okay? I would have liked to see that, to be honest. It's sad that they don't want to give them compensation to appear on a show that's making millions. So, Nat Nat, you brag about all this money, but, like, what the heck is an appearance fee? And you know Camila... It's not like she charging damn near, damn near a stunner girl fee. No shade. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, one last tip I want to give y'all. Uh, y'all know Mariah's crew? <laughs> Mariah's crew allegedly got into some, uh, some a little bit of some squabbles on uh, the last night in uh, the DR. And it, it's basically like crew for crew. So it's looking like Mariah's crew versus um, another crew. Okay, and one baddie who has done something a little bit shady, which I'm think this is one of the most instigating things someone can do is put you on video while singing a song, a op song, and making sure that you appear in the video. Okay, so Asian Doll, you guys, of course, has gotten into a Mariah online and on baddies, which we're gonna see soon. <laughs> They were singing Cardi B's song, and you know the line where she said, my ops linking up. She made sure to make Mariah and her crew get an appearance. My nigga a If that's not something to start a fight, I don't know what. <laughs> Y'all know the line, my ops linking up. And she made sure to keep the camera on them, gesturing that there are her ops. Okay? So I found that to be a little bit shady. Good job, though, Asia. Go. Okay? Let me know what y'all think about some of these spoilers. Do y'all want Big Smiley to make an appearance in the uh, Caribbean? And also, what do you guys think of all this meatball drama? Are you looking forward to seeing her? And do you guys think that she will disappoint or live up to our expectations on the show. Okay, leave your comments down below and we're out, babies. No personal thing.